when you started out, what were your influences? And on the way, while you were while you were recording, while you were touring, what were the groups that influenced you along the way? Well, the, of course, the bands that really um, lit the fire was the British Invasion. You know, the Beatles, the Stones, the kind of the typical stuff. The mm-hmm. Who, um, but more specifically, as uh, about the time that we were starting, there was a band out of uh, Memphis called Big Star. Okay that has since been really recognized and heralded. But at the time, people would ask us our influences. Back in the mid-'70s, we would say, oh, we really like Big Star. People would say, who is that? Never heard of them. Um, But, I mean, uh, and then, you know, locally... Uh, Cheap Trick was a huge influence because we could go see them on weekends, and, and we we thought they really were inspiring because they had that Beatle influence, they had that melodic rock approach, mm-hmm. and um, and then of course other bands that we we would study records. I mean, if if uh, you know the Fleetwood Mac uh, Rumors album was a great case study of of a good sounding record that you said, okay, how does how do they get this sound? Uh, so that we would try to emulate it as best we could in our with our gear, and uh, ironically, then uh, you know three years later we're working with their producer in their studio out in L.A. Yeah, so something. it it was it, you know and Tom Petty of course was an influence and and uh, there was just uh, Todd Rundgren uh, did an album called Something Anything, mm-hmm. which was a very uh, uh, pop sounding record. When I say pop, that has really bad connotations. Let me say melodic rock. Mm-hmm. I mean, because that, that's what we're about. We're about guitar-driven music, basically, um, with, with uh, melody and harmonies. That's, that's sort of the definition of what we try to do.